Hello everybody. So I have been asked numerous times how I make my icing sugar. Because whenever I need to use my icing sugar, I always make the comment saying, oh, I gotta break it up. Because it's always so hard. And that's because I don't put anything in it. Um, some people put a cornstarch, tapioca starch. Some people even put flour in it. That's actually why I stopped buying icing sugar because some of them are laced with flour. So, or they're using a um, cornstarch that is laced with white with flour, with flour. Sorry. So <laughs> that's why I stopped buying it. So I have a Vitamix and it works perfect. I just use the dry container. I put two cups of sugar in it, and then I put it on the blend on the um, the mount for it for one minute, which I'm going to do right now on high speed for one minute and I'll be right back because this thing is loud so that's why I don't record it so be right back okay so while I'm blending it I do push it down with this so that way I know it's all being blended consistently and you can see this now it looks like powdered sugar my hands are clean it's all nice and powdered form Sorry guys, I personally believe your hands should be clean at all times. <laughs> Not just when you're doing certain things. Um, anyway, I just gotta find it now. Sorry. Okay, so all I do is I put this into a mason jar. And like I said, some people add starches to this just to make it so it doesn't stick. Um, that's all that is, is just convenience. In my opinion, there is no real reason for it other than just to make it so it doesn't stick to itself. It doesn't add to the flavor to it or, oop, or anything and then I just make a mess. The only thing is, is when you do it this way, like when you use the high, high speed blenders, is just make sure to leave the lid off of it for a while until it's cooled down because it is really hot when it comes out of this. If you're really good and you're thinking in advance, you can actually throw the sugar in the freezer for a while to make it nice and cold and then it won't heat up quite as bad. Make sure you get all that good stuff. Okay, there we go. And that's it. That's how I make my icing sugar. And then when I go to use it, I give it a good shake or I have a, um, a chopstick. Oh, hold on, where is it? There it is. Um, I have a chopstick that I just put in there and I break it up. Works fantastic. Homemade icing sugar doesn't take very long and it doesn't take much work. So I hope that answered everybody's question as to how I make my icing sugar and as to why I make my icing sugar. It's just because I got sick and tired of trying to locate bags of icing sugar or powdered sugar that were gluten free. It was just not worth it for me anymore so I started doing this. This does work in a regular blender because um, I used to do it in one. It just takes a heck of a lot longer in order to break it up unless you have a really good blender then it works fine I never did but so it does work in a regular blender just in case you need to know that so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you again soon bye